how to create a interactive actual versus target chart in Excel. We have three different colors to represent the actual value, the exceeded value, and also the remaining values. The light green represents the actual value. The dark green represents the exceeded or the values that are beyond the goal, the target. And the last column is the red one, the needed value to match the target or the remaining value to hit the goal. So step by step from scratch, we're going to see how to create this interactive chart in Excel with those three different criteria. The cool thing about this chart in Excel is that you can use this chart right here into a report, a presentation, a dashboard in Excel to help you better visualize the data and see what's going on with your data set. So I hope this video can help you out and let's go find out how can we create this chart in Excel. As we want to create a chart to compare the actual versus the target value, we need to have both of those informations. I already have as the first column the actual value or the current value. And in the second column, I have the target or the goal, the values that need to be met. So the data is done. Now in a helper column, I'm going to use two new columns to help me know the exceeded values and also the remaining values as the exceeded. Or first, let me select the column C and D and in between then I can click hold and drag to the right to make sure I can increase the width of those columns. In the exceeded column, I can calculate the value that is beyond the target, just the difference. So let's say uh, the actual in this second row is less than the target so it's not the example that we're going to use to the exceeded however the third row we have the example that i need so as we can see here the actual value is greater than the target and the difference between those values are equal to 10 right 120 minus 110 is equal to 10. so this is the number this is the value that exceeded the target and this is what i need to use within the exceeded column because this column right here is going to be responsible to create the green visualization in the chart. And the remaining column is going to be responsible to create the red bar or the red column within the chart that we're going to do. So in order to automate these results, we can use the if function in Excel. Equal sign and then if function. Double click in this function. Want you to select. First of all, the first argument that we have is the logical test. So I need to check something here. If my actual value is greater than the target, comma, so I want to make the difference between those two to have the exceeded value only, the value that is beyond the target. That way I'm going to use the actual minus the target and then comma, else if the value is not true, I want to have here an arrow in Excel or in other words, found or hash sign in forward slash a close parenthesis like this. Why I'm using here a, a arrow in Excel instead of using another calculation or a number, for example, because whenever I press enter and got here the result, if I get a arrow as result, it indicates to me that the actual value is less than the target. However, let me in the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag down to make sure we can cope this formula down. Whenever we got the arrow, it indicates that the actual value is less than the target. However, if we got a number or the exceeded value, it indicates that the actual is greater than the target. So going back to the question, why I'm using this arrow in Excel? Because the, the arrow in Excel prevents the chart to show any value. Because as we saw in the beginning of the video, the exceeded column is going to be responsible to create the extra column over at the top of the, the common column that we're going to have. So this extra column at the top tells us how much the value is beyond the target. And whenever we got the arrow, we're not going to have anything within the chart. So the arrow prevents the chart to display a column. OK, and as the remain value, I want to do something similar. However, here basically we're going to need to do the opposite. So it's not the exceeded value, but the remain. How much is left to hit the target equal sign if function double click once you to select the logical test can be if the target that i have is greater than my actual value so it indicates that there is no exceeded value however there is a remaining value that way i want to use the target minus the actual value comma else the target is not greater than the actual value 
it indicates that we have a exceeded value. So I want to input here a arrow. And again, pound in a and then close parentheses. Enter. Okay, let me bring this formula down and we're done. Now we have the exceeded value and also the remaining value. Now it's time to create the chart in Excel. But to create this chart, instead of selecting everything that I have, I want to skip the target column because I don't need to select the target column anymore. Because basically we split the target column into two, the exceeded and also the remaining. So what I'm going to do is I want to select everything within the first column. And then I want to press and hold down the control key and select everything within the exceeded column and also the remaining column like this. Now I can go to insert and select the chart that I want to use. Maybe we can go to the column chart and stick with the second option, the stacked column. Let's click here and yeah, we're done. Let me move this chart up like this and just a suggestion. If you don't want to display both of those helper columns, you can select both, right click and then click hide. That way you can hide those columns. But the problem is when we have some hidden data in Excel, the chart can't display this data. So in order to solve this problem, you can right click in the area of the chart and go to select data. And here down below, we have a special button that is hidden and empty cells. Click on this option and you can choose show data in hidden rows and columns. So as you can see, when I mark this checkbox, the missing data now is within the chart. And when I uncheck this checkbox, the hidden data also gets hide. Let's check this option and then click OK. OK again. And yeah, that's it. Now that the chart is already in the screen, it's time to make some changes in the design and the, in the layout of the chart. We can start with the title of the chart, but we can see that there is no title or header in the chart. So let me click in the chart and then I go to chart design to the left, add chart element, and then I can go to chart title and above chart okay this one can be let's say actual versus target let me click within this box and go to home tab and decrease the font size maybe to 10. now let's go back to the columns the actual column maybe i can use a green color however i can use a light green and for the exceeded values or the orange one i can use a darker green but let's start with the blue one right click and then go to format data series here to the right, we can go to fill online and then solid fill. I can choose maybe, yes, this green right here. I think it's okay. Now let's go to the orange one that represents the exceeded value. And I want to use a darker green like this. And the gray one that represents the remaining value, I can change the color to a redish one like this one right here. Now I can close this right panel. And we almost done with the chart. We already can see with this light green, all the actual values. With the red, we can see the remaining to hit the target. And with this darker green, we can see the exceeded value. I think something that is gonna look very good here in the chart is if instead of using the values in the left that corresponding to the height of each one of the columns, we can actually take those values and input above each one of the columns or in the center of the columns. Let's do it. So let me select the values that I have to the left and delete read it off those values. And also the grid line that I have in the background, I can select and read it off. And if you want to delete the legend that you have underneath, you can do so. Select and then read it off this option. I think we don't need to use anymore the legends because I think it's very intuitive to see and understand everything that we have in the chart. Now let's again select the chart and go to chart design to add the values for each one of the columns. And I can go to add chart element and here data labels and maybe center. I can choose this option. Okay, the numbers are already here. Something that we can do is make the columns a little bit thicker or increase the width of the columns. So let me click, right click in the column and go to format data series. You can click in any column, doesn't matter. And here to the right, you can choose gap width and take this point right here and decrease the values. Okay, maybe 100%. Yeah, I think it's much better. Now let me close for the last time this panel. And let me select the, the numbers and go to Home tab. Put everything with this white color, everything in bold. Do the same thing for the red one, everything in bold and white. And again, the last time, but this time for the darker gray. 
And yeah, that's it. We're done. So this is how we can compare and create this customized chart in Excel to see the actual versus target value for each one of the categories that we have and also be able to see the current value or the actual value with this light green. Everything that it exceeded, we can see with this darker green and everything that is missing or the value that is remaining to match the goal with the target, we can see through this red channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this chart can be very useful for you. And if you have any questions and any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below because every day has a new video. So I see you there.